Hi everyone, so this will be a quick video about the 26L degassing chamber from Easy Composites and I'll also show you what you get when, you, uh, when it's shipped to you, how you assemble it and what's the best use for this system. If you always want to be up to date with new videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell button as well to get notifications when new videos are being uploaded. If you want to support me, the best way is giving this video a like. So this is how the degassing chamber arrives. So uh, the degassing chamber arrives with an acrylic lid. So it's a very thick one. It's two centimeters, I think. So uh, it's good to handle the big pressures that will be into this uh, degassing chamber. So you'll get the manual, then you get two buckets. So for um, as a liner in your degassing chamber, you get the hoses. So it's a silicon hose. You get the uh, metering for the vacuum and the in and outlets for air. So, um, and everything is sealed together with a rubber gasket that will seal uh, the lids on top of this system. So first thing I'm doing, so you can see there's one big hole and two smaller holes. So the biggest hole is for the, um, the gauge, or I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll call it the um, vacuum meter. Um, so first thing that I noticed is I think this is powder coated. So there are some um, like leftovers into the uh, the threads. So I clean that with a brush that I use for cleaning my spray gun. So very important, read the manual. So um, don'ts, like the most important things is uh, use this in a, in a clean environment. Um, make sure there's not too much dust and uh, do not try to um, remove air from like wood and so on by using the um, this this system because it will destroy your oil and probably your pump as well so um most important thing is in this manual shut down the vacuum valve before closing the pump otherwise you'll just suck out all the air of your pump into this uh, catch pot ruining your hoses and your uh, degassing chamber so the problem i had here is i think this is something easy composites can fix um, but it's not threaded in the right way so i was turning it around and i think it was 270 degrees off so in fact it's not a big problem but I, it would be like really annoying um, like watching it sideways to see if you have full vacuum or not. Um, so what I did is I've added some extra Teflon tape so I can just screw it uh, in minus 270 degrees but still have a tight um, fix on there. And then it's just like pretty easy just assembling the inlet and outlet. The outlet has a filter in front of it so when you're removing the air uh, to prevent it from like collecting dust into your degassing chamber or adding dust into your silicon or uh, casting resin. So the next thing is you remove the, the plastics from the lids and then I just put the two buckets back in and I use this as a liner. So um, this is a 26 liter uh, degassing chamber. Uh, but don't think that you can degas 26 liters of resin in one go because it will expand uh, quite a lot. So if, for example, silicon can expand till eight times in volume, so you can guess around four kilograms at a time into uh, the system. So this is a 26 liter degassing chamber. So I'm just connecting the EC4 pump. So Easy Composite sells this as a kit as well. I already had the pump. Uh, so the EC4 uh, pump will remove all the air, like 99% in vacuum in about three and a half minutes. If you have some spare money to spend on this, I would highly recommend you buying the bigger EC20 pump uh, with this system because you can remove the air in about 30 seconds till 99%. So um, just to give you a rough idea, so the starter kit with this pump would be around 465 pounds. Um, and if you pay 700, 745 pounds, you'll get the bigger system. Thanks for watching and I hope you like this video.